Hi guys and welcome to this week's episode of Miss Planet. So guess what? This week I'm excited not only to help our community member Lauren, but also because I have a surprise for you. I have a surprise. I'm not going to talk about it to the end of this video. So go ahead and enjoy this week's video and you will have a nice surprise at the end. Or if you're like me and you can't wait, you can fast forward to the end and come back to the video, <laughs> whatever works for you. But don't forget, hang on to the end of the video because there's a surprise that you won't want to miss. Well, let's talk about this week's inspiration picture and project. This week, we're going to be helping our community member and her name is Lauren and Lauren writes us. Hi. Hi, Lauren. I am obsessed, all caps, <laughs> with your DIY videos. They are the reason I decided to save a ton of money and make my own centerpieces for my wedding. Yay, yay, yay. I so love that. You can absolutely do this, Lauren. My fiance and, our, and I are getting married next year in June. We have been dating since high school, almost nine years. Wow, that's awesome. So this has been a long time coming. My colors are white, ivory, champagne, gold. I attached a screenshot of my dream centerpiece. I was hoping to get some ideas on how to accent gold on the vase, but in a subtle way. It would mean the absolute world to me if you would feature this project. Thanks so much, Lauren. Well, Lauren, not only did we feature this pro project, we also have a very special extra bonus for you at the end of this video too. So I am so excited not only to help Lauren, but to launch something a little bit special that we're going to be doing from now on. Um, just for you guys, just to give you that extra special push, that extra special help, and I can't wait for you to see it. So without further ado, let's get started with this week's project, Tall Glam Gold Centerpiece. All right, let's go. You go ahead and fill our trumpet vase with our LED battery operated lights and our Dazzler vase filler. So you notice I started off with a little bit of vase filler and then I'm actually holding the lights so that they don't bunch up at the bottom or bunch up in the middle or at the top for that matter. And we're going to slowly fill in uh, the vase with the filler in between the light strands so that the LED lights can show through our vase and it would just be make a, a more dramatic um, effect, especially when you have low lighting, to have the fairy lights kind of twinkling throughout the vase filler. It takes a little bit more time, but it's all in the details. So stick with it, you can do it. So I have brides and planners always asking, how do I hide the battery pack? It's really, really easy. You just go ahead, go ahead and measure your battery pack. In this case, this one's like two by two. Um, and so then you're going to draw a two by two section. Now I'm not using a ruler because I've done this before a few times, but if you need want to use a ruler to be more exact, perfectly fine. So you want to make sure that it's going to be on the back side of your eight inch foam ball in this case. And then you're going to simply use your foam cutters and take your time and cut out a space that will fit the light packet about halfway through. You know, you don't want to put the entire packet in there because you want to be able to get to the light switch easily. So take your time. This is, this is one of those patient videos. Take your time. You can do it. And just cut out the section to fit your battery pack nice and snug right into your phone ball. 
Now you're ready to attach your foam ball to the top rim of your trumpet base. Now, you're gonna do this with hot glue. Be sure not to put hot glue on or near the wire for your light packet. You don't wanna melt the casing. Now to add that subtle touch of gold that Lauren asked for. I'm gonna do this by just wrapping the base in some iridescent glitter gold tool. Very simple, very easy. So we're gonna start by placing some hot glue on the back side of our base. Just a thin smear, it does not have to be thick. It's a very thin smear. And you're going to go ahead and attach the um, tool to the back. And the first time you wrap it around, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. But then after that point, we want to gather it just a little bit so that it'll create almost like a ruffle effect. It's really pretty. So just take your time. Um, if you need to unravel it and try it again, that's perfectly okay. I know some of you are DIY experts and you'll get it the first time, you'll get the effect. But as you can see, we're just kind of gathering it a little bit and you are wrapping it at, up the base at a slight diagonal. You can do this, guys. Now I've decided to finish this off by attaching a brooch. Now you don't have to do that. You can simply wrap the entire vase with the tool. It'll be just as beautiful. But if you decide to attach a brooch, we're gonna make a very simple bow, a gathered bow, just using some more of the tool, about mm, 12 to 16 inches of it. And we're just gathering it. And then at the very back side, we're going to use just a piece of um, floral wire, twist it around the end and create a very simple gathered bow and then we're going to attach some hot glue and attach it to our base. All right, so here's a way to add another touch of gold to your centerpiece. Taking a four by four square of your tool material, you're gonna simply roll it right onto a wooden dowel or you, know, you can use something like a paintbrush, either way, it's very simple. Roll it all the way up, 
pull the material off and then just uh, stick through a floral pin and the end and then attach it to your foam base. Very simple. Again, it's just an option, but um, just one I want to share with you. that special announcement. I want you to know that we are now going to have bonus clips for each one of our tutorials in which I discuss, share with you, show with you different tips that I've learned um, over doing this over, over the years and just things that I don't even think about that I'm doing that you have asked me questions about in our comment section. Um, so I'm just going to share them with you. It could be anything from adding different little Dollar Tree finds to a centerpiece just to kind of cap it off um, or to just these inexpensive um, additions to a centerpiece that I do to setting the table to I mean it's all going to be clips to help make this week's tutorial or that week's tutorial even better. So you can access these bonus clips on our website, MissPlanet.com. Just click on the link that pops up on your screen and it'll take you right over to the bonus clip. So from this point on, every tutorial will have a bonus clip that you can access for free on our website. Just a little something from me to you, a way for me to answer your questions and just share more information. I have so much I wanna share, it's just not enough time in our weekly tutorials. So don't forget, if you wanna watch that bonus clip, Click on that link. It'll take you right over to our website, MissPlanet.com, and you can watch the bonus clip. Hope you guys like it. Well, Lauren, I hope you liked this week's tutorial project, our tall glam gold centerpiece, because it was so much fun creating it for you. I hope we met your vision. I hope that the tutorial steps were quick, simple, and easy for you, because I know you can do this and you can make your day even more special than you could have imagined and a lot cheaper, might I say. If you like this video, go ahead and like us. Head on over to our website, MissPlanet.com. If we can help you with a project request, click on the project request tab and follow the easy steps. Also subscribe so you can be the first to know when our videos are posted every Wednesday. And by all means, write us a comment, send us a question. We are here to serve you and to help you make your visions come to life. Remember, we give you the plan, you take it and make it your own. You can also support us by following us on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. And um, go on down to the, the links in the description. If you click on that little upside down triangle, it's gonna take you to the links to all the supplies for this project. It'll also give you the project costs. So you will have all of the information at your fingertips. And don't worry for our people who are out of the country, out of the United States, we have an international supply list also. Don't forget, we have our Ebates link so that you can make money while you're spending money. Ebates is completely free and so easy to take advantage of. So check it out. I highly recommend it. Um, and then from there, we have our link to our newsletter. You know, we're always writing blog posts, trying to give you extra information, extra tips to saving money as well as making beautiful memories. So let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about the bonus clips over there on our website, MissPlanet.com. I hope they're helpful. Just some things that, like I said, I don't even think about anymore. I just kind of add them together and then I get comments, where did you get that from? And how did you do that? And oh my God, I love that. So guess what? I'm gonna pass those little quick bonuses on to you for each and every one of our tutorials so we can make the tutorial even that much more special. I was so glad that you guys chose to join us this week. I know you have so many options and it just does my heart so well to know that you chose to spend this time with us. We appreciate you just encouraging us and lifting us up in prayer and we can't wait to see you next week. So until then, always remember when every penny counts, count on this planet. Take care. See you soon.
God bless.